Hello today's video we have the following content. 40 year old Tang Yan meets 47 year old Marjali, and they are stunning in the same frame. Beauty is in the bones, not in the skin, and the charm remains. Wong Kar Wai is really amazing and admirable. They make TV series to tell stories, and even when making TV series, Wong Kar Wai will hold himself to the standards of movies, and every frame will be carefully polished. It is no exaggeration to say that Flowers is the most pleasing TV series I have ever seen. Every shot is exquisite, and the actors are beautiful from any angle. After watching the TV series, my eyes have been purified. I wonder who has been claiming that the audience's aesthetic level has declined? People can still tell whether it is beautiful or not. I believe everyone has heard about the results of Flowers. The first battle was a victory, and it delivered excellent results in all aspects on the first day of the satellite. The audience highly recognized the combination of Wong Kar Wai and the TV Kin and Queen. This visual feast will naturally not lack everyone's support. The exquisite shots and outstanding appearance attracted many eyes. It must be mentioned that he really showed Hu Ji's handsomeness to the fullest. It is a kind of high-level elegance without being artificial. Many shots even made me mistake them for brand advertisements. In fact, Wong Kar Wai is better at shooting beautiful women. Maggie Chung in, in the Mood for Love fully interprets temperament and aesthetics. Fei Wong and Jurgen Express. Innocent in her cuteness, I think only Wong Kar Wai can fully tap into Fei Wong's unique personality. That kind of unrestrained beauty is combined with Wong Kar Wai's romantic style, which is unique. And Zhang Ziyi is indispensable. Although she entered the entertainment industry as a Mu girl and achieved great success, I think Zhang Ziyi's performance in Wong Kar Wai's movies is better. Her performance is more expressive than Lao Mao's shots. The whole body exudes the implicit and ostentatious beauty of Oriental beauties. To be honest, I don't think Ma Yuli and Tang Yan and Flower are at all related to the word beauty. The two female protagonists are not ugly, but compared with the actresses that Wang Kar Wai has worked with before, such as Fei Wang, Maggie Chun and Zhang Ziyi, Ma Yuli looks too sharp, while Tang Yan looks a little sweet. They are not the big screen darlings loved by the audience and it is difficult for the audience to imagine what new viewing experience they can bring no matter how beautifully they are filmed. When I clicked on the feature film of Flowers, I was really surprised. Tang Yan is already 40 years old, but she still plays a lively urban white-collar worker without any sense of disobedience. Under Wong Kar Wai's lens, Tang Yan's face is very flat and her skin is very delicate, and there is almost no flaw. Tang Yan wears retro clothes and high heels. The overall shape and hairstyle complement each other, showing the unique girlish atmosphere of the Mesozoic era, which is rare. Tang Yan's face looks too inflated in some shots. Although there are no emotional ups and downs, she mainly performs through oral narration in the first few episodes, but her facial muscles are just stiff and tight when she speaks. In order to make the picture more colorful, big directors usually like to shoot actors from multiple angles. As long as the lighter angle is not ideal, Tang Yan's facial swelling will be clearly visible. When the camera is slightly pulled away, the thin figure further highlights the size of the face, and the full forehead is particularly prominent, like a bloated balloon, which is in sharp contrast with the face of the old actor next to it. It's okay to have a plain expression, but once you smile, it's easier to reveal flaws. The forehead and apple muscles are raised like fluffy steamed buns, the bridge of the nose seems to extend directly from the center of the eyebrows to the top of the head, and the whole face is swollen, but the chin is unusually sharp. It's hard not to wonder if it's because she rushed into the shooting before she fully recovered. In fact, this hairstyle has covered the face shape. If you tie up all your hair and expose your face completely, it's really unbearable to look directly. Moreover, Tang Yan's face is very picky about angles, and if you are not careful, all your efforts will be wasted. In the final analysis, the problem is the lack of three-dimensionality. Although well-maintained, this kind of beauty that only stays on the surface cannot resist the erosion of time after all. Marjuli's performance surprised me, but it made me even more surprised. She is not known for her appearance, but in flower, I appreciate the noble beauty displayed by King Gai. As a native Shanghainese, Marjuli perfectly integrates with the exquisite petty bourgeoisie style. She shows a short, capable and elegant image in the play, wearing gorgeous and noble clothes, and every move attracts the audience's attention. Although she seems very arrogant, everyone does not hate her at all. In addition, no matter how tricky the shooting angle is, or how dim the light is, Marjuli can handle it with ease. Please note that the sister is 47 years old, but her facial features are still very three-dimensional, 
Her skin is in excellent condition, and her mental state is very full. Her performance is lively and lively, and she will not look unnatural even if she makes a large expression. Her beautiful facial features make her more convincing as the boss lady. Her performance is impeccable, whether it is the shooting angle or the expression management, it is first class. The most important requirement for actors in the straightforward shots of TV series is acting skills. For film directors who like to explore aesthetics, the actor's facial features need to have beautiful bones to carry the visual effects of light and dark contrast. This can also be seen from the shots of flower. In many shots, the director's face light for Tang Yan is more inclined to be bright and white, and the light is slightly oblique from multiple angles, which ensures that her face is still clearly visible against the dim background. In addition, many pure side close-ups of Hu Jie and Mar Yuli, even including Xin's Hillary, the interaction of lines and colors makes the silent picture more vivid and rich. Mar Yuli's beauty is magnified many times under the combined effect of exquisite lens language and charming women, which may be her true beauty. It does take a certain amount of strength to be able to ascend the throne of the Magnolia Award for Best Actress. There is no doubt that the tacit cooperation between actors and directors is crucial. For a 47-year-old actress, in order to present such a natural and indestructible state, it is necessary not only to rely on her own qualities, but also to rely on the director's appropriate performance to further explore and strengthen her uniqueness. As a combination of a top director and a first-line actress of the Mesozoic era, their impeccable performance proves the truth that there is no harm without comparison. Xin Zhili's beauty is also eye-catching, and she is not inferior to Mar Yuli and Tang Yan. These originally unrelated actresses came together to bring a completely different look and feel to the audience, which makes people have to admire the casting vision of director Wang Karwai. As a 30-episode TV series, Flowers is far from enough with only beautiful shots. At present, there are still different voices in the comment area. Some viewers think that the form of the play is greater than the content, and there are not many things worth savoring. Hu Jie and Mar Yuli, coupled with Wong Kar Wai's efforts, can be said to be a seamless combination. As for whether the efforts in the past three years can be exchanged for the expected results, we will wait and see. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,